imagine this uh, killing is sending shockwaves right now through the New Orleans Police Department. But this is not the first time the NOPD had to say goodbye to one of their own killed in the line of duty. In the years since Hurricane Katrina, the department has lost five officers, including the death now of Officer Holloway. WDSU reporter Travers Mackle takes a look back at how the NOPD band together to find justice for the slain officers. On the job for 23 years, longtime officer Darrell Holloway was well known and well liked, according to many of his colleagues, and he now becomes the fifth NOPD officer killed on the job since Hurricane Katrina hit the area almost 10 years ago. In November of 2007, longtime officer Thelonious Dukes was shot and killed at his home in New Orleans East. Investigators say three men tried to rob him while he worked on a car in his garage. All were later convicted of the murder. Less than three months later, Officer Nicola Cotton was shot 15 times in Central City by a man who was later deemed to be mentally deranged. She died at the scene. When officers responded, the suspect was within feet of Cotton, still holding her firearm. The story gained national attention as accused killer Burnell Johnson was later ruled incompetent to stand trial and sent to a mental health facility for the remainder of his life. The killing prompted a piece of legislation now known as Nicola's Law, which forces mental health patients to undergo better evaluations prior to their release from state facilities. In 2010, Officer Alfred Celestine died at an area hospital from injuries related to a car crash two days earlier when his patrol car was struck by a drunk driver as he responded to a call. The driver of the car was later convicted of vehicular homicide. And in the summer of 2013, Officer Rodney Thomas was killed by a hit-and-run driver on the high-rise in New Orleans East. He stopped on his way home from work to handle a routine traffic incident. The driver fled the scene, tried to allegedly hide the white Porsche he was driving, and then lie about the incident. Numerous people were arrested. Some have already pleaded guilty in court, while other cases in this matter are still pending. On your side, I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News.